All right, so I want to give a overview of Bob Wallet. Um, Namebase is awesome. Shout out, they're, they're amazing. Uh, but I also just want to study more about a little bit more technical and understand HNS, Handshake, and all different products. So Bob Wallet, you have to install on your computer. So bobwallet.io is where I went to. They also have a GitHub. And then I install it. Well, actually, we'll go to the GitHub. Um, I'm not so technical. I'm more of a marketer, but... Basically, they'll give you a few different ones. I, I have a Mac, so I install DMG. MSI, I think, is if you're on a Windows. Um, there's pretty good documentation. So I installed it, and it is here. Sorry, I have to blur some stuff out. I'm just testing it. So, of course, first you have to install it. It will take time <clears throat> because basically, I feel it. Maybe I'm saying it. So my feet. I might be saying it wrong, but basically you have to sync it with the blockchain, with the handshake blockchain. I hope I'm saying it correctly. So I'm synchronized. I'm at block, we're at block 47,001 on the chain. And then I have all these transactions on my computer. It took, I don't, I don't know, I feel like quite a bit of gigabytes. I have a Mac Air, so I had to delete some of these video files I've been making and other things. But um <clears throat> So once you get enough space, I left it on overnight and it synced overnight. And when that's all synced up, you say synchronized. And now you, congrats, you have all the transactions of the Handshake blockchain on your computer. So first you need to put some funds. So I have some funds right here, but uh, you need to receive funds. Show the address. This is, I believe, one-time use. You copy this address. The way I funded it was from Namebase. So I go to Products, Namebase Pro. I don't have many HNS in here right now, but uh, I have 0.76. <laughs> but uh, you would click Withdraw. Not BTC, but HNS. Put the address here. And the amount of HNS, uh, of course, I guess I could put 0 0.76. I don't know. And then... I'm not going to click complete because uh, it doesn't make sense to send 0.76. But you would do that and then it would basically go into your transaction list as a withdrawal. And it took a couple of days, to be honest. I was almost scared it was lost because it says if you send anything but um, HNS here, it will be burned. Like if you send Bitcoin or other currencies here, it will be burned. So... Um, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. That's why I would maybe suggest start with a smaller amount. Okay. So that would be, of course, one of the first things you need to fund the, fund the wallet. Also, I didn't talk about signing up. You'll get a secret key, please, of course, to keep, keep that secret. Otherwise, other people can get into your wallet. And then there will also be a password. And the password is always asking me, so it's like po constantly popping up. I have it saved in my clipboard, but, um, you know, keep that secure. But it'll be password and secret key. Secret key would be only if you need to reinstall it or open a new machine and then you would have to get the secret key. But if it's already installed, you'll just need to put the password. Okay, um, portfolio, I don't, I don't have anything yet. Um, I don't have anything yet. So browse domains. <clears throat> uh, let me think. That's hopefully open. Okay, so if I wanted to open this one, I could also add to my watch list. I could read the process here. I can see if there's other bids and uh, it's available now or not. I click start auction, put your password again. Put in my password. And I've opened the auction. Okay, so it's started. I didn't put any funds, but I started the auction, which is uh, pretty interesting. If there is one that is um, already going, so this one's already going. I already placed a bid here, but let's just show you. You would have bid amount and then disguise, which is the same as the mask. So this is, you have to, of course, put something, but you can also mask it, review, and then submit. Okay, and then it will go to the blockchain. So 
the reveal. Of course, you need to reveal. So right now, I don't have anything to reveal, but I will have to do it myself when it's ready. So I have one here. It's still in the auction process. So I can't reveal it, of course, but I believe I'm still learning this. So I'm going to come back to the reveal later when I, it might be tomorrow. OK, so it might be bright, but I'll, I'll stop the video here. And then we'll come back to this when there's a reveal period. And then I believe that should be the majority of what we need to do with this. Uh, I can make more videos too. Hopefully this makes sense. You got to. So what we did so far is we installed it. We made a secret key password. We withdraw funds name base to fund it. We waited a couple of days. We got the money. We started an auction. Uh, we made a bid on auction. Next, we got to do the reveal. Thanks. OK, good morning. <laughs> uh, I have to admit, I did wake up in the middle of the night to check, but I didn't reveal yet. Um, do you think I won or lost? <clears throat> Sorry, I have to hide these. I just feel it's not, it's, I just don't want to show the names. But uh, I do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Uh, I hope it's helping, um, it's making me make sure I do everything correctly. So the auction's over. Let's see. A 12 bid came in. I'm on e.hnsfans.com and I'm looking at it. So just so you understand, these are the bids. So I was the nine, but somebody came in with 12, but there was a 50. So I was betting that the 50 was a lot of blind with my strategy, but I got, I had a bad feeling when I see a 12 come in right at the end, because usually that's a full bid. Usually there's no blind. So it's true. One, two, three, four reveals. See one, two, three, four, five bids. So I have not yet revealed. You can see this 12 was probably this one. Um, we're not sure what these point for. This was probably a point four. The 11 <clears throat> probably came out of the 50 and the 0.4 or the 0.5 maybe came. We don't know if 0.5 came out of which one, but basically the highest bid is is 12, right, from the reveal. But we need to do our reveal. We can also check in name base. We can see that um, this one's mine. It's not revealed. So please, this is why you got to be more technical, more uh, advanced if you're using Bob Wallet. If you don't uh, reveal, Within a real real time, you'll lose your uh, you'll lose your whole uh, bid. From what I understand, it hasn't happened to me yet. Hopefully, it never does. But I have. If you notice, if you look at some of the auctions, you'll see some that says hidden still reveal, but it's like months ago. It's because that person never revealed. So it's very important to reveal. Of course, you don't want to lose your money and lose the auction. So it's there's no point. You have to reveal, or you'll lose the money. Okay. So now that I gave that overview. I lost. All right, let's check out what happened. Okay, I'm going to log in. Okay, logging in. All right, so I'm logged in. I'm going to go to the bid that I did. See, this is the nine. And I have to see this. I have to reveal it before December 31st. It's only December 22nd right now. So I could scare, you know, I could kind of not reveal on purpose. It's happened to me. I've noticed when I made bids and auctions and some of the reveals didn't happen like next day, I'm like anxious. So you could drag this out for others. Although I, I think I'll just let them see what I, I put, right? So I'm going to click reveal your bid. Again, password. Entering my password, I successfully revealed my bid. So, of course, I can see the different bids here, and uh, that's that's it. But I lost, unfortunately. I hope that makes sense. Again, we're doing this to I'm doing this to try to just help more people understand this. This one is a little bit, you know, a little, a little bit technical. Honestly, is uh, kind of half technical, half marketing kind of business person. It's scary a little bit, but you just got to be careful. Definitely to never lose your, your secret key. Same with Bitcoin or any kind of these crypto wallets. If you lose your key, you can't get it. And I have friends that have crypto like Bitcoins stuck in uh, wallets. So this is the same as like a Bitcoin wallet. If you lose your secret key, you uh, lose anything that's inside. It would be the domains as well as the currency of HNS. But um, that's it for today. 
maybe we'll make more. Um, you know, maybe you could consider using this. Obviously, I'm just doing this to help the community. Um, and I hope it helps you. Thank you.